Hi, and welcome to 3dmotive.com. My name is Stephen G. Wells, and I'm a senior character artist. In this quick tips and tricks tutorial in Maya, we're going to take a look at objects, creating them and manipulating them and all that sort of stuff. We can go ahead and grab it up in our custom shelf. We'll just click on the polygons tab. Let's go ahead and just grab a sphere. We're just going to click and drag out. Okay. So this is our sphere. If we hit four, we're in wireframe. Five gives us our uh, wireframe on shaded. And if we had a texture for this model, we could hit six and the texture would show. We don't, so. But remember, four is wireframe, five is object with shaded, and six would have been texturing. All right, so we'll hit five. So this is a sphere. It's very simple, very easy. It has, I believe, it's a 20 by 20 sphere. I think that's the default. If we want to check that, we can click to our attribute editor, click on the polysphere one, and as you can see, the subdivisions on the axis and subdivisions on the height, it is 20 by 20. We can grab each one of those and hit 10, hit 10, and I did 10, enter, 10, enter, okay? Or you could have actually just slid it up and down. I mean, you can do it up and down as you need to. All right, so there we have a sphere. It's simple, it's easy, okay? It's not a whole lot to it. But to be able to manipulate polygons and, and see what's going on with that, uh, that, that can be a little tricky depending on how you work things. Let's go ahead and turn, uh, we'll go to show and turn on our grid just so we can see it. There it is, there's our grid. Well, first things first, what we can look to do is let's look at um, the vertices. In order to get into our sub-object on this particular model, we just have to hit the F8. As you can see, everything changed. It's got the blue lines. So it's it's like ready to go. What do you want to do? Vertices or edges or what? Okay. I'm going to go to my little custom shelf. Sometimes I have found when I'm modeling, uh, obviously I can grab vertices just by selecting them. There are other times when I'm trying to grab vertices where it's actually easier just to use this tool and I just, I'm able to grab just the one or two. Same with edges, I can uh, grab edges, etc. But uh, for vertices, it's F9. For edges, it's F10. For faces, it's F11. Okay, as you can see. And where we go. All right, so F9, F10, F11. Vertices, edges, and whatnot. Now in Maya, if I want to grab a vertice and I want to delete it, and I hit delete, it won't actually work. There are other 3D programs you grab a vertice and you can delete it. If I grab two vertices, if you hold down shift, I can hit delete and it still doesn't delete it. It, it. Maya just doesn't like to do vertices, okay? Maya prefers you delete it via faces. If I grab a face and hit delete, it's fine. It'll delete it just fine, okay? By the way, I'm doing a rotating by left alt. I'm panning by middle alt and I can zoom in side actually and rotate around, but I can zoom in and out by right alt, okay? But to, to delete polygons or to delete vertices, etc., in Maya, vertices are not the way to go. You need to go by faces. Okay? That's, that's where you can delete polys out as you need to. All right? It's one of those little things that some people don't, you know, they, they, I've actually seen students struggling where they can't delete the, poly, the, the, the vertices. Now, again, there are other programs where yeah, you can grab the vertices and they'll delete really nicely. In Maya, it's, uh, I've never quite understood it myself, but they prefer that it's a function of grabbing the face and hitting the delete key, okay? All right, so what you can do with this is, now I have some different shortcut keys uh, up in, in my custom shelf. You can in, add insert edges, you can create new faces, um, you can extrude. I can grab this one and hit extrude, and I can extrude this out. Okay. I can hit G, and that does it again. So I can now extrude out another section. This would be a quick way if you want to turn around and create a limb or something. You can just hit G and extrude out again. G extrude out again. So be, you can see it'd be a very quick way to 
to uh, create forms and limbs and such like that, edges and um, you know like legs or robotic stuff or tubing, etc. Extrusion is a really quick way to be able to do something like that. Okay, I can go into a model. Now these commands, these are shortcuts on, on my thing, but you can actually find them all up in, in this menu if you're trying to look for them. Again, I create my own custom shelf, so I have all of that. But I can do the split poly command, and that says, okay, well, what do you want to do? You have to find an edge first, so I'm going to grab this edge. I just left click, and I'm just holding that. Now it's going to go from a vertice to a vertice. It just depends on where I need to let it go. Let's just assume I'll just grab that edge right there at that point. Now it says again, click and drag on the next edge to finish press, press enter. So I'm going to click on this edge. Now I can keep cutting if I want. I can go to this edge. At some point or another, I'm going to have to connect to a vertice, like there. I can hit enter, and I'm done. Okay, so I just created some new edges. If I want to go ahead and grab this particular vertice, okay. I can hold down my V, hold down my V, and I can snap that vertice. You have to be in the Move tool first, which is W, but let me do Control Z just so you can see it. You can grab any vertice you want. As long as you're holding down V, you see how it changes to a round, see it's square, and then hit V. You can actually snap that vertice to another thing, and you don't have to worry about welding, I find. So there you go. I just fixed all of that. We'll go ahead and do this one as well. I'm going to hold down V and just snap it over. If I don't like this particular edge right here, I'll just go up this edge and hit backspace. It now longer, no longer exists. It's not like it's hidden, it's actually just deleted. Uh, you can see very quickly, you can turn on and create a whole lot of items using just that, just extruding and the split, split polygons. Of course, you can always grab, say, a face and hit collapse. If you wanted to get like a triangle piece out of that, you can do that actually to any edge. You can hit, uh, grab the edge, let's see this one right there, and collapse. You can now just hit G because that was the last function you did. G, G, it's collapsing those edges. All right, makes it really simple. Again, you know, once you, once you get used to it, G, since I haven't done anything else, I can just hit G. If I grab some edges I didn't mean to grab, I can always just hold my control key and click and drag, click and drag, click and drag. So now I've just got that one, and again, I can hit G. That'll collapse it. All right? So whatever last function you, uh, you use is what it's going to remember. That actually comes in handy, believe me. I'm going to go ahead and... We can grab this whole edge. I just double clicked it, and we can again do G. It doesn't want to do it though because it's actually been collapsed up here, so it's not going to do it on a whole edge like that. So I'm going to go ahead and hit G here on this side. Oh, but I've actually gotten out of the function now. Let's just go ahead and try that again, and we'll do it this way. Collapse. There you go. I got out of the function. That's why it wasn't working. But very quickly, very easily, you can see that you can create a lot of of uh, extra polygons, you can collapse them, you can start to you know, figure out what you need to do very quickly, very easily, uh, just with some simple controls in Maya, just by adding and, and subtracting a few things. You can actually, by the way, one of the things that I love to do is this insert edge loop. It allows me to just click and drag and I can create a new edge loop anywhere in this. You know, that comes in handy like I cannot tell you. There you go. Now, of course, it's not sure what to do when it comes to these edges right here. And then, of course, that's the fun point is you can now go back to your split polygon, click, drag. It stops right at that vertice automatically. I can click and drag, hit enter. And I've just cut that. Let's go ahead and do the same over here. We'll do split poly. Let's click. Oop. Uh, it got off. Sorry. Let's try that again. Split poly. And there it is, okay, and right there, and we're done. Okay, very quick, very easy. You can turn around and start to pretty much do whatever you want with this. 
you can start with just basic shapes a sphere you can start with a square a cube cylinder a cone grid or a, a I should say a grid plane is what it is basically but it very very simply very easy you can start making very quick shapes very complicated shapes with do, just doing some deleting some cutting edges and some moving around anyway I hope this has been a, a fun little quick intro for you guys my name is Stephen G. Wells, and this has been 3dmotive.com. Thanks for watching.